Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android Application Development Tutorial with Android Studio. In this episode, we are going to learn about how to use a checkbox in your Android application. So, if you use checkboxes, you can select multiple items at a time. So, here I am going to create an Android application that will demonstrate how to place a checkbox in your application and how to handle the click events of the checkbox. So start a new project in Android Studio. So first we have to create the GUI for the application. So here I am going to create the GUI for the application. First here I am going to add a text view with this wrap content. Height also wrap content. Specify a text and row it. Refer it from the string.xml file. Title message. Now we have to add this one into the strings.xml file. Open up the values folder and open the strings.xml and add a new string resource. The resource name is title message. and I provide a title as select fruits ok now we have a text view in the layout now I am going to change this one into large text so Android text appearance into use this text appearance large also I want to align the text view at the middle of the layout so Android layout gravity I change it into center horizontal ok now we have a text view at the center at the top of the layout now here I am going to add some check boxes so here I am going to add the first checkbox width is wrap content height also wrap content provide an ID for the checkbox and using ID attribute plus ID fruit apple ok now we have to provide a text for the checkbox so Android text refer it from the string resource string apple ok so now we have to add this string resource into the strings.xml file name is apple and the value is apple add under orange and the value is orange add one more grapes and the value is grapes ok now we need another checkbox change the ID into fruit orange and the title is orange ok now add one more checkbox with ID fruit grapes and the title is grapes ok now look at the design now we have three checkboxes apple orange and grapes now user can select all these fruits using the checkbox you can, user can select multiple items using a checkbox so now I am going to add some 
on click method for these checkboxes so android using the attribute on click select item use the same on click method for all these checkboxes okay now I have to add a button so now here I am going to add a button the width is 100 dp height is wrap content now we have to provide a text so android text refer from the string resource name it as done now we have to add that one into the string resource file so add a new string resource and name it as done now provide a value for it done ok also here I am going to align this button at the center so android use the attribute layout gravity center horizontal ok now look at the design now we have a button at the center of the layout ok now for display the result final result here I am going to add a text to view width is wrap content height also wrap content also provide an id for this text to view and to it id plus id final result okay also provide a message for it and to it text hello world ok now we complete all the GUI part we have three checkboxes we have a button and we have a text view to display the result ok now we have to code this code this application so we have three checkboxes here and a button one more thing we have to add an on click method for the button so android on click final selection okay now we have to declare now now we have to define these two methods on the main activity.java file first one is the checkbox on click methods select item so go to main activity.java and here I am going to define declare that method public void select item we need a view argument here ok now we need another method for the button final selection so copy this one and define that method public void final selection also we need a view argument here ok now whenever user select these fruits we have to save the selection and after completing the selection user click the done button so we have to uh, display the selection using this text view so for that first we have to I have to declare an array list for save the selection so here I am going to declare an array list this handling string I name it as selections selection equal to new array list it handles string ok so whenever user select the checkbox whenever user select an item from the using the checkbox this method will invoke this method will invoke 
select it. this method will invoke whenever you shall select an item using the checkbox so we have to add each item into the array list so first we have to create a boolean variable boolean I name the variable as check now here the view item is a checkbox so checkbox and here the argument is view dot is checked so if the user select the checkbox we got the boolean as true if he uncheck the check if we again uncheck the checkbox then we got the boolean as false okay so now we have to find out which checkbox is actually select by the user for that here i am going to use a switch case statement so we have to get the id from the view argument using the get id method now we have to analyze this id using each case statement if the id is equal to r dot id dot fruit apple yeah this is wrong okay now it's correct so now if if the selected item is apple we have to add apple fruit into the array list so selection dot add apple and one more thing if the if the user check the checkbox we have to add apple into the array list and if the user uncheck the checkbox we have to remove the fruit from the array list so here i use an if loop if it is checked then we have to add apple into the array list otherwise we have to remove apple from the array list selection dot remove apple okay finally we have to add a break statement don't forget to add a break also we have to check the same thing for other two fruits now here it is fruit orange so we have to add the fruit orange into array list if user remove that particular fruit from the selection we have to remove that item from the array list okay one more thing we have to add the last two fruit grapes add one more case if the fruit is grapes we have to add that fruit into the array list grapes if user remove it we have to remove that from the array list grapes okay so when user select the checkbox this method will invoke and we save the selection into the array list and after finishing the selection user click the done button so when user click the done button we have to display the result into this text view so the id of the text view is final result so we have to declare we have to define an object for the text view so text to view final text I name it as final text now we have to initialize the text to view so final text equal to find view by id r dot id dot final result this one okay now cast this one into text to view
yeah now after after finishing the selection you select click the, the done button then this method will invoke so here we have to get the result we have to uh, get the selections from the array list so for getting the selections here I am going to declare another string variable string final fruit selection and initialize it with some null values some blank values okay now I hope we have to get the result we have to get all the result from the array list so here I use an for each loop for string selections and here our array list name is selection selection okay and we have to get the result into this string variable final fruit selection equal to final fruit selection plus selections and after each result we have to put a new line so add a slash and okay so at the beginning of the application so whenever user start the application we have to hide the result text view so we have to hide that one so final text dot set enabled make it into false so we can hide that one so when user click the done button we have to display the result using the text view yeah here so now we have to display the result the text view object name is final text so final text dot set text and the variable name is final fruit selection okay now we have to enable this text view so final text dot set enabled into true okay now we complete all the coding now we can run the application so one more I explain the code one more so whenever user click the selection user, whenever user select any one of these fruit this method will invoke select item this method will invoke and we save the selection into the array list so if user select the checkbox then we add that particular fruit name into the array list so if user again uncheck the checkbox we have to remove that particular fruit from the array list so that that's why here we use an if else so after finishing the selection user click the done button so whenever user press the done but button this method will invoke so here we just get the result from the array list and we display the result using the text view okay now we can run the application okay now we have the application available on the virtual device so here we have three options apple orange and grapes so here I made two selections apple and grape orange and click the done button now here we got the result apple and orange now I made another selection and click done button now we have all the result apple orange and grapes now I remove the orange so I click done now we have the result apple and grapes only I hope you enjoy this video thank you for watching see you in the next episode